What's up guys, Tabletop Icon here with another knife review and today I'm looking at the Schrade Old Timer Heritage Series Fixed Blade. There's a quick look at the overview. Got the Old Timer embossed stamped right in there on the leather sheath. And you come to the knife. The knife overall has a mirror polish on it super super nice it's double pinned obviously it's d2 steel the overall length is 10.25 inches the blade length is five inches so you got a decently large knife here the thickness of the blade it's pretty stout 0 0.15 inches thick has some nice jimping Feels really nice in your hand. It's got these uh, wood, it's like finished wood handles. I don't know exactly what type of wood it is, but it is really comfortable and it has a nice finish on it and it feels really good in your hands. You can really get some good control, especially with this jimping. If you had to do some feather sticks or some control stuff, some finer work bushcraft wise, you could definitely do it with this. There's the D2. Super nice. I like it. I usually don't, I'm usually not into charade knives. I have done a couple on the channel, but I've had some issues with some charade knives I've bought, so I, I kind of shied away from them for a while. But this one is supposed to be their new Made in America series. But I'm not sure if it is on Knife Center's website. It still says they're made in China. But I guess I'll have to get a final word on that. Super decent looking knife. I, th I, think, it, I think it looks really nice. But as far as its performance, I'm not sure. This will be a knife I'm going to test. Comes with this leather sheath, which... Um, it's a little dry. You might want to get some mink oil and make it a little more pliable and rehydrate it a little bit, but it's a decent sheath. The only thing I don't like about it is, listen to this, this rivet right here. I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but this rivet was poorly done. It's kind of loose. I'm going to have to fix that. Or you could buy an aftermarket sheath, whatever you want, but... I'll just punch a new rivet in there and punch a new rivet in this one just to make sure. Um, but it seems like it's a it's a decent sheath. It's got the extra inlay in the middle so you don't cut your sheath thread or whatever the hell it would be called. So, I mean, you get a good knife, you get a good sheath. I mean, I'm sure that sheath will last you a couple years on its own. Nice leather sheath. Nice knife, you get a good package. I think this knife's running somewhere around, uh, I don't know, 50 bucks. Somewhere in that area. But, you know, good price point for a knife, and it's D2, so you get some good edge retention on that. You also get some good toughness on that, and you can sharpen it up fairly easily. Um, it's a little bit tougher to sharpen than uh, 1095, but it's also harder so once you do get the edge on it it's going to be it's going to hold an edge really well so that's the Schrade heritage old timer go pick one up if you like that style of knife if you really really think that you could carry this on your hip all the time i'd go pick one up because it is pretty it is pretty and this will be one of the knives that i'm going to test so stay tuned for that video. Go out and get one. That's the Schrade Heritage Old Timer.